I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the Virginia pine. Virginia pine, Pinus virginiana, is a somewhat scrubby pine and one of the four pine species native to Kentucky. It is also known as scrub pine, jersey pine, and spruce pine. It is a small to medium sized tree that typically grows between 40 to 70 feet tall and about 8 to 14 inches in diameter. When young, it grows as a broad open pyramid that becomes flat topped and horizontal with no prominent leader as it ages. The tree tends to retain branch stubs along the trunk and this adds to the unkept appearance of the tree. It is a moderately fast growing tree and relatively short lived, living up to maybe 90 years. Virginia pine is native to higher elevations of the Piedmont and mountain regions of the eastern United States. In Kentucky, it is abundant throughout the Knobs, Cumberland Plateau, the mountain, eastern Kentucky mountains, as well as the western coal fields. It is a pioneer species that can grow on very poor sites, but, is, but its best growth is in well-drained, sandy, acidic, loamy soils. It is usually found in pure stands on abandoned farmland, roadsides, and other disturbed sites. It is shade intolerant and it's considered useful, a useful tree for mine reclamation sites. The leaves of Virginia pine are short needles. The needles are typically one and a half to three inches long and often twisted and in groups of twos. And this is a really good identification characteristic because our other native pines have longer needles that are not twisted and those typically are in groups of threes or fives with the exception of shortleaf pine that has needles in groups of twos and threes. The needles are yellowish dark green and they can remain on the tree three to four years. This species is monoecious, meaning one house, which means a tree has both male and female flowers on the same tree. The male pollen structures are cylindrical, kind of cone-like. They're yellow to orangish and near the tips of the branches. The females are pale green and larger than the males and are spread throughout the crown. The shedding and receptiv receptivity of the pollen begins in early spring. This species is wind pollinated. The fruit is a smallish ovid cone that's about one and a half to two and a half inches long. The cones are sessile on the branch and sometimes in groups of two. They have red brown scales that are armed with a sharp needle like prickle. You can see that in the photo. The cones ripen during their second autumn and contain small one fourth inch oval light brown winged seeds. Seeds are dispersed starting in the fall and may continue through the following spring. Virginia pine produces cones in all parts of the crown. Trees begin seed production as early as five years, and trees tend to produce seed every year with good seed crops every three years. The empty cones tend to persist on the tree for numerous years, another good identifying characteristic. The bark of Virginia pine is orange, brown, and scaly on young trees. As the tree gets older, stems develop thin, small, scaly plates with cinnamon-colored patches, often on the upper parts of the trunk. The wood of Virginia pine is grouped with the southern yellow pines, although it is a very minor species. The heartwood is reddish-brown and has wide sapwood that's usually kind of yellowish-white. It has large resin canals that are evenly distributed and the transition from early wood to late wood is abrupt and can be seen in the color contrast and you can easily see that in the photo. The heartwood is rated moderate to low in decay resistance and the wood tends to be knotty. Virginia pine is a relatively important tree for wildlife. The seeds are an important food source for many small animals such as squirrels and rabbits and birds like northern bobwhite and other non-game bird species. The trees provide good nesting sites for cavity nesting birds like woodpeckers because the wood of the older trees is frequently softened by decay. It also pro pro provides cover for wildlife and browse for deer. Virginia pine is used occasionally for lumber if the wood is clear of knots. It's used for pulp wood and paper making, and it's also useful in reforesting and reclamation efforts, and it's also sometimes used as in Christmas tree production, but it does require selective pruning. The national champion Virginia pine is in Fairfax, Virginia. It's 108 inches in circumference, 91 feet tall, with a 43 foot crown spread. The Kentucky co-champion Virginia pines are in Metcalf County with a 67 inch circumference, it's 84 feet tall, and has a 37 foot crown spread. 
and the other co-champion is in Breathitt County with a 64-inch circumference. It's 85 feet tall with a 34-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about Champion Trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about Virginia pine. Native Americans used the bark, needles, roots, and sap for medicinal purposes. They also used the needles to scent soaps. Virginia pine is an aggressive pioneer that produces pulpwood much more rapidly than most pines on poor sites. The wood was historically used for underground coal mine timbers, railroad ties, fuel, tar production, and charcoal. The scientific genus name Pinus is the Latin name for pine and is from the Sanskrit Pitu and the species name Virginiana means from Virginia. I'm glad you joined me today to learn about the Virginia pine and get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or neighborhood and enjoy this native pine.